Hey, it's Bianca, and, um, uh, okay, starting off with my excuses, like always, um, <laughs> alright, so, like, a Easter weekend, I lost my camera, so, that's one of the reasons I've been MIA on top of being consumed with work and school. I have one more week, and it's just finals this coming week. I'm so stressed out, and that's, oh, that's another reason why I've been so stressed out that I've been breaking out and my face looks really 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 horrible and it's disgusting and so that's why I don't really want to do any tutorials because I don't want you guys like zoomed in on my face and all my zits and acne and then you'll be like whoa 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 like it's it's really gruesome I'm <laughs> so um I changed my hair I dyed it like um a little over a month ago Back in April, I dyed it, went to my lighter shade that I always do for the summer. Um, yeah, that's about it, so let's get to the video. I'm going to be doing a tag, and as you can see by the title up above, it's the tag for your furry friends, and so I'm going to do it on my dog that you have been hearing barking or crying in like the background of some of my videos, so... You guys are going to finally get to meet This is my little baby. His name is, and so the first thing on it is the pet name. And so my pet name is Brownie. Look at the camera, Brown Brown. Say oh, hi. <laughs> I woke him up. He was sleeping. Okay, and so it says what kind of pet is he and what breed. Obviously, he's a dog, and he's a chihuahua mix because he's a little bit bigger than the average size chihuahua. I don't know what else he's mixed with, but I just know he's a chihuahua mix. Um, it says, how long have you had your pet? I've had him since October 27, 2007. So, it'll be five years this October that I've had him. Yay! And it says, how did you get your pet? Um... Long story short, my dad knew this lady. She had Brownie, his brother, and his sister, and she also had two bigger dogs that were outside. And I guess she let them outside to go to like the bathroom and play around sometimes. And I guess the big dogs were playing too rough and they accidentally killed his brother. And Brownie actually has a little battle wound still. It's like right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but he has like a little, it was worse when I first got him. But it was like really, 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 really bald right there. But the hair is slowly going back. And I've had him for almost five years and it's barely coming back. Like that's really, 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 that's really bad. I don't know. I'm like, so I felt bad for him. And my mom, or my dad was going to bring him home for my mom. But he was like, so he was traumatized by like the whole thing. Like he didn't even want to get out the kennel that my dad brought him in. And so like I spent the whole afternoon like trying to feed him out of my hand and trying to get him off the kennel just so like he could like you know feel free to make like, this my house his new home and it took me like a whole day and ever since that he became my dog when he was supposed to be my mom so my mom was kind of <laughs> mad about that but it, it works better for me because he's like my friend so he's my little best friend so um the next question is, what are some quirky things about your pet? Um, he has a lot of things that he does that are so <laughs> freaking weird. Like, okay, um, one of my ex-boyfriends, he would call him a cat because he honestly just lays down and licks his paws until he, like, goes to sleep. He likes to lick my legs and my arms. I'm kind of used to it now, but he, I noticed he likes to do it more when I have lotion on and I'm just like dude like you're gonna kill yourself like calm down like don't do that so that's why I try to put lotion on when I'm out of the house not when I'm in it because then he'll just lick it all off and then he's gonna kill himself. He's a little weirdo because like once in a while when he's just like walking around the house like do 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 whatever um he just makes this weird noise and it's like Urf, Urf. Hi, buddy. Urf. surprisingly you know I know they say cheese is bad for dogs but this little guy he likes Monterey Jack cheese he doesn't like American he doesn't like provolone 
he doesn't like mozzarella or like Mexican cheese. He likes Monterey Jack cheese, which is amazing because that's my favorite type of cheese besides provolone. So he's like, so when I go to like make a sandwich or something and like he smells it, like he jumps up and down as if it's meat or something. And like he only jumps up for and down if he smells meat. So it's kind of weird that he does that for Monterey Jack cheese. It's kind of weird. And like I know a lot of people say it's bad and that he's gonna die. I've been feeding him on Ray Jack cheese for like the past four years and obviously he's still living. He's still here. He's still healthy. So thank God. <laughs> when the ambulance or the police or like the firefight fire trucks go by and they have their fire um their fire their sirens going off. He, I guess it hurts his ears or something, so he starts howling as if he's a wolf. This little, this little guy, he starts howling, he's like, ooh, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of annoying. The next question is, what does the relationship with your pet mean to you? And honestly, I could say he's like my best friend because he's been there for me through like all the good times and all the bad, and um, he's been there for me like when I've gone through like my first breakup with like a boyfriend of like five years and he was there for my last breakup he was there for me when my parents got a divorce he's been there for me for even the good times like my sweet 16 my prom um he's been with me from my old house to this house um he's always there for me when I'm happy why am I getting all teary eyed? Oh god. But yeah, he's been there for me through the good times and the bad, and he's not judgmental. And I could tell him things without having to worry that he'll run off and tell other people what like some of my friends have done in the past. So. He's just like that person that I know that will always be there for me, no matter what, because, you know, dogs are loyal. Oh my god, why am I crying? Is what are some favorite pastimes with your pet? And the only thing me and this guy really do together is sleep. I like to take a lot of naps, and he's such a lazy bum. He likes to sleep with me all the time. That's basically all that we do besides like watch TV together. Like, I don't really do anything when like I want to relax. I just either sleep or just watch TV. Well, actually, I don't watch TV. I mainly watch movies. Movies are my thing to do. Just watch movies all day long. If I could, I would, but I usually tend to fall asleep while I'm watching a movie because I'm always tired. The last question is, do I have any nicknames for him? And I have quite a few. I have Brownie, I have Brown Brown, I have Midget, which is funny to say because I'm 4'11", so it's funny for me when other people hear me call him a midget because they're like, dude, you're a midget yourself, like, what the heck are you doing? But, I don't know, just because he's a little dog and he just like, feels like a little baby because he's only 11 pounds, I'm just like, oh, like, he's such a little midget. Um... My dad calls him Mr. Brown because some of the shirts that I have for him, my dad says it makes him look really, really buff and kind of fat or something. It's weird. So he refers to Mr. Brown from Meet the Browns, like the Tyler Perry movies and TV show. So I'm like, Dad, you're so weird. <laughs> um, and then I also call him a weird, a little weirdo. That's that's basically it. I don't have any other nicknames for him. So, one more time, this is my brown brown. And now you guys finally got to meet him and got to meet my best friend, my companion, and my little lover boy. And yeah, so if you have any video responses about your furry pet or any other type of pet, just put them down below and I'll want to see them and see who means the most to you. Alright, bye. I'm